YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be installing a catalyst downpipe on my 2015 Subaru STI. I hope you guys enjoy. Follow along. So my engine bay is going to probably look different from yours if you guys are trying to understand how to take off the downpipe because I don't have a top mount. I went with a front mount intercooler because uh, better efficiency in regards to cooling. You don't get as much heat soak. But our main concern is getting that heat shield off and uh, it looks like a bunch of 10 mil bolts on it. So I got that bolt out and then there's another bolt out. They're both 10 mils. I believe everything on the heat shield alone is 10 mil. So what I'm trying to do is grab, there's a guy down here. Let me see if I can find him. All right, you see that shiny bolt down there? That's what I'm trying to get. Come on, focus on him. That guy right there. I'll zoom in on it. Yeah, that's a, that's a funny guy to get. So to get that bolt out, I ended up using a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench since I couldn't fit an actual ratchet in there with a socket. These are, uh, there's seven bolts associated with taking this off. These two right here, uh, very easy to get. There's these two on the bottom side that is sitting on the lower end of the down, um, on the downpipe itself. Uh, this one is easy to get. This one was easier to get. It just had a, a longer socket on it, a uh, deep socket and a shallow socket for this one, shallow socket for this one. Uh, I use shallow on these two. This one was a pain in the butt. It looks like it actually snapped off from what it was fastened to and it looks like Whoever had this off before didn't put this bolt back in. So you're dealing with seven bolts itself. And uh, that was fun. This one that was a uh, shallow socket as well. Uh, I had to loosen up my, um, my air roll separator and my wiring harness because it relocated it as well as the AC line bracket just to get this guy off because I didn't have that much of a leverage to get it off. So I'm spraying with the uh, PB blaster just to let it sit for a little bit. So maybe it'd be a little bit easier to work with. All right, well, the phone died and I didn't realize it, but um, what I'm dealing with right now is this nut and bolt is, uh, is seized and stripped, as you see. Um, this one as well. I got, there's a nut that goes on the other side down here. And then there's a nut right there. And then another one lower of that. I got those out. And the only ones that are holding me up right now, these guys, I have enough room to, to move it. You see a little bit of gap right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to squeeze in a, a grinder with a cutting wheel and try to cut it off right here or on the front side. The reason why I came to the conclusion of using the grinder uh, with the cutting wheel is because I tried heat with map gas already. That didn't work. I let the thing soak uh, for about an hour and it still didn't work. Uh, theoretically, you should be able to let it sit overnight with uh, the penetrating oil on it. I really wish I did that prior to this, but you live and you learn. I wouldn't advise to do this, but Worst case comes to worst, this is one way to get it off. Mm -hmm. 
my arrow separator, move my wiring harness out of the way so I can get the, the cutting wheel onto it. I cut on the turbo side right here, you can see, and I cut on the other side of this. Um, also those that are saying that I should have used heat, I did. I used map gas. It got cherry red and still didn't come off. You dang bastards. But it's out, it is what it is. I'm gonna replace the new bolt. Definitely gonna put never seize on it. I even went on and took off the wastegate, thinking that I can move this arm a little bit out of the way if I can cut it on this side. Did not work out. So now we're gonna jack up the car and work on the bottom end of the downpipe, take off the O2 sensor, and uh, we should be golden. between the two down pipes. This right here to the right is the Catless NVIDIA Divorce down pipe. And as you can see, it's a bigger tubing. You get better exhaust flow. So one of the reasons why I'm doing it is because this is where the wastegate actually opens, the internal one, and actually goes in. They call it Divorce because this um, piece of steel right here is keeping the two separate. And versus the stock one, it hits this wall and it goes in, builds turbulence. I was going to go with a catted, but I got this for a really good deal. Um, I couldn't pass it up. So definitely let your tuner know that you're going with the catless downpipe. One, you're going to probably run into issues with the check engine lights um, if you're going to stick with cop. And along with that, you need to make sure that you don't just go out, load this up thinking that you're okay just to run it because there will be issues, especially with a catless downpipe, you're gonna have something called boost creep. A lot of people that run the catless downpipes, they run external wastegates to go with it to, to help with the boost creep and control the boost a little bit better. If you're associating yourself just like I am with a Cobb access port, you're gonna probably wanna run something like this as a defouler, so it won't pop for a check engine light. I'm gonna have to drill this out a little bit to make the O2 sensor go a little bit further in and uh, everything will be good. Make sure, put never seize on this. Same thing with the bolt that's going onto the turbo that goes onto the bell mouth. All right guys, I had to go to Wesley's house to, uh, to use his vise to put that in. Um, as soon as it focuses, let me try to get it focused. There you go. Um, the hole is bored out to 12.5 millimeters. So the O2 sensor will fit into this and then I have the other adapter, wherever it is right here so this is going to thread into it and it's going to go into the downpipe there we are and then i'm going to put some uh anti-seize on this end of the threads and then put it on here and as well as the o2 sensor so sweet i'm going to be installing it here soon <laughs>
ground pipe install. Uh, things didn't go as planned, but we, uh, we overcome and we made it work. We got it installed, sounds decent, a little loud for me, so I'm gonna be ordering a resonator to make sure it's all good. I'm ordering new donut gaskets just to make sure everything's squared away. Also an adapter to go from the downpipe to the AWE touring uh, cat back. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a beautiful day, and I hope you guys have a great new year. And peace.